Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, if you didn't know, I was on vacation for a while, and now I'm back. It feels good to be back. Hello, it is I, I R Smart, and uh, yeah, today I'm just gonna say hi. I'm back and tell you about my vacation. I went on with my family. It was pretty great. We had a good time and we saw some cool stuff. So yeah, basically, uh, today is Sunday, the 23rd. And we left for vacation on Friday the 14th of August. So yeah, we were on vacation for like over a week, and it was pretty fun, I will say. It was good to get a vacation. I don't, you probably can't tell, but I got, I got pretty sunburned. I have very fair skin. No matter how much sunscreen I put on, it's kind of inevitable. So it's, it's mostly on my neck, so you can't really see it, but like, I'm pretty sunburned back here. It's still kind of red. But that's beyond the point. Anyway, I thought I'd just tell you about what I did, and... I don't know what I'm going to put as a thumbnail, but it's probably going to be something cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll just I'll just start telling you about it. So basically on Friday, uh, we left. Our destination is Williamsburg, Virginia. I'll tell you more about it when we get there. But first, we have to make a stop because we're, we're in Michigan. So we got, a, we got a while to drive. So we drove down and we drove through, what, I think Indiana for a while. And we went through Ohio, which is just a boring state and it kind of sucks there. But then eventually, we got to a very cool state, and that is West Virginia. Yeah, I really think West Virginia is cool, because I'm a big Fallout nerd, and I like Fallout 76, and Fallout 76 takes place in West Virginia, and I got to go there in real life. So that was cool. I mean, I kind of geeked out over that, you know, played country roads and the like. Also, wait, I wrote, I wrote stuff down. What did I do? Oh, I tried Hardee's for the first time. It was actually pretty good. I got a burger. I mean, it was a pretty standard burger, but it was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, Hardee's, I would recommend. I don't know what else they have there, but I, I, it was good. Oh yeah, and then we went to uh, Charleston, which is the capital of West Virginia. We actually stayed in a hotel there, and it was pretty cool. We There's a, the big Capitol building, and I've seen pictures of it. It's got like a, whole, a gold dome on top, but that was under construction. It, was, it had like tarp and scaffolding on it, so we couldn't see it. But we could still see like, oh look, there's the, the Capitol building, which is another location in Fault 76 because I think that's cool. But anyway, yeah, we drove through West Virginia, and it was crazy. Like, Saturday, we were we were, did a lot of driving on our way to Williamsburg, and it was just so many twisty, windy roads. Like, it just goes back and forth and back and forth. Actually kind of sickening, but driving through the mountains is really cool. I, it's very unique experience. So that was fun. But then, obviously, the coolest thing was that we got to go to the Greenbrier Hotel and Resort. And if you don't know, the Greenbrier is super duper cool. Basically, it's a hotel, and there's a Cold War bunker underneath. Because in, like, the 50s, uh, President Eisenhower was like, hey, you, we need a place where we can store all the government in case there's ever a nuclear war. Because at this point, you know, bombs are still dropped by, like, planes and stuff. This was, like, the 50s. So they're like, we need a, a big shelter where we can put the government and then it'll all survive in case Washington, D.C. gets attacked. So they built this bunker in secret, and people didn't know about it for, like, ever. There's this huge underground bunker underneath this hotel, and they just built it, and then no one knew about it. People were just like, oh, they're just expanding the hotel. And then for, like, years, this bunker was just ready to go and stocked and all set up, and they never used it because there was never a nuclear war in America, or in pretty much anywhere for that matter. But, yeah, they never used it. And then in the 90s, it was revealed to the public by, like, a reporter guy. And they said, oh, yeah, by the way, we built this a couple decades ago, but we never used it. And they don't use it anymore for, like, actual... They, but you can go on a tour. So we actually got to go inside the bunker and see, like, how it worked and how it was going to work. Like, how they would have all the, the government buildings. Like, they had rooms for the House and the Senate. It's crazy. It's a very cool tour. And if you're ever in West Virginia or in the area, highly recommend you go take that tour. It's so cool if you just like that sort of thing. I'm, I'm a big nerd, so I like that. Also, the West, you know, the the, the Green Bar is also in Fall 76, and you can visit it in Fall 76. It's really cool. So yeah, that's a cool thing. But yeah, the Green Bar it was it was crazy. Also, security is tight anyway because it's a it's a hotel and it's got a bunker, so they want to make sure you're not like sneaking anything into it or out of it. So security is already tight. And then on top of that. You have, you know, the mask wearing and all those restrictions. Then on top of that, the exact day we were there, Mike Pence, the vice president of the United States, 
was there. We didn't get to see him, but we just heard rumblings like, oh, by the way, the, the vice president's here, so we're having extra security. Like, literally, the Secret Service had to pat us down. Not necessarily, like, not pat us down, but they had, like, the scanny thing. Like, at three places, they had to check everyone just to be safe, which is crazy. Apparently, he was meeting with the governor at the hotel somewhere, but, yeah, we didn't see. So, that was cool. Um, anyway, so then after that, it was just to drive, it was just drive along a highway, and we got to Williamsburg. Williamsburg is a cool town, because it's one of the old towns in Virginia. We visited a lot of those. Like, first there was Colonial Williamsburg, which is just a really old town, made because it used to be the capital of Virginia, like, in the 1700s, I think, was what it was. Uh, but yeah. There was that. We got to visit that town. That was cool. Um... Also, we went to the beach, Virginia Beach, one day. I hate the beach. It's the worst. I got sunburned. I hate sand. It's coarse, rough, irritating, and it gets everywhere. I'm, I'm not kidding. It was in my swimsuit somehow. I don't know. It was in my toes. It was in my fingers. It was in my fingernails. It was in my hair. The sand was everywhere. It was literally the worst and most traumatic experience of the entire trip. So anyway, um, yeah, also there was a Neptune statue. That was kind of cool. Uh, like Neptune, the, the, the god of the sea in, in uh, Roman Roman mythology. So I don't know why they just had that there, but it was cool. Uh, I, I think I'm, I should put a picture up here. Hopefully there have been pictures up on the screen showing you cool stuff. Because I took a lot of pictures and I just have to edit them in. So hopefully IR Smart in the future does that. Anyway, uh, oh, I also had Waffle House for the first time. That was cool. They have really good waffles, I must say. Uh, that was fun. Um, oh yeah, we also went to the Jamestown settlement. This was like one of the very first towns ever in America. Well, that, that was made by like, you know, English colonists, but still, one of the very first towns. And it was like a recreation of it, and kind of you could tour around, and there was like people dressed up in costume, and you could talk to them, and it was cool. It was one of those things. Also, another cool thing. We got to tour a battleship, like a World War II battleship, the USS uh, Wisconsin, it was crazy, because, like, it had, like, really big cannons, and this, it's like a World War II battleship, and it's in perfect condition. It's crazy, because, like, this ship served in, like, World War II and a couple other wars, too, and they did decommission it eventually, and now you can go on tours on it. And after that, we got to go on a cruise around, uh, everywhere was this, uh, whatever, it's, it's a bay in Virginia. Basically, there's a Navy base there. And you can just, like, go on a boat ride and say, like, hey, look, there's a bunch of aircraft carriers and destroyers and stuff. And you can see, like, the U.S. Navy. It's insane. They just let you go on a boat past. Like, you can't go there on the ships, obviously. But you can, like, ride past them on a boat tour you pay for, and you're like, look at that. That's an aircraft carrier. It's huge. And I tell you, th these things are absolutely massive. It's crazy. I don't know if I took any pictures. They're insane. But yeah. Uh, also, we went to Yorktown, which is where there was a big Revolutionary War battle. We got to see that. Um, yeah, that was kind of like the Jamestown settlement, where there's people in costume and you can talk to them. And there was, like, a camp and stuff. It was cool. Lots of, lots of cool stuff on this tour. And, uh, also, yeah, yesterday we spent 14 hours in the car driving home. That was, that was kind of weird. However, I did get to have Wendy's, uh, so that was nice. Got to have a Baconator in the car. And also, uh, I, I, I watched episodes of Phineas and Ferb in the car, so I've, I've watched all of them. Like, I, I've, I've, I can now say I've watched every episode of Phineas and Ferb twice. Because when I was a kid, I watched them all when they came out, and now I've rewatched them all over the course of a couple months. So, fun side note. Also, yeah, we, we, have, we have got to have a lot of cool food. Like, we got to have barbecue and seafood and, you know, like the, the Waffle House and stuff. Just all, food we don't usually have up here in Michigan. So, lots of cool stuff. Also, I checked two targets, and I'm going to check another one here today, like back home. Both of them were sold out of the new LEGO Star Wars sets. They had all the other new LEGO sets, but just the Star Wars sets that I want are sold out everywhere. Online, in store, everywhere. I cannot find them. It's outrageous. I just want the 501st Battle Pack and the AAT. I already bought every other set I want online. I just want these two, but I can't find them anywhere. And it's ridiculous. <sighs> anyway. So yeah, the, the, the trip was a good time. It was really fun, I must say. You know, it's good to go on vacation with family and just see a bunch of cool stuff. So, yeah. 
I have to, I'm a, hopefully I added in a bunch of cool pictures of the trip and stuff, but yeah, that's all I had for you. I'm, I'm glad to be back. School starts tomorrow. That's kind of concerning, but I'm still gonna, still gonna keep it up, still gonna do weekly uploads on Sundays, but yeah, like and subscribe, and uh, it, it's, it's great to have you guys here, you know, I, I'm glad I can make videos, it's a fun time, so uh, yeah, bye everybody, see you next week.